Hi, I'm Ben Zwickle, and welcome to this Mathematica screencast on entering data into Mathematica and making a plot. The goal of this screencast is to show you how to take data that you've recorded in your lab notebook and get it into Mathematica for analysis and plotting. I am now going to show you an example of how I would enter data from one of my own lab notebooks into Mathematica. I'll start off by copying a scanned image of my lab notebook into Mathematica so you can see what data I'm entering. So first I'll switch over to my PDF viewer and I can actually use the screen capture tool within the PDF viewer to grab part of the screen and copy it. And then I can just go edit, paste, and there are the images right in Mathematica just as it would be in a Microsoft Word or PowerPoint if you were to try to copy an image in. So now that we have the data, we need to enter it into a table. You should have already watched a screencast on entering numbers into a table using the control enter and control comma method. So the two things you have to remember as you start to type it are to use control comma to get a new column and control enter to get a new row and tab to switch between the elements. So control enter to get a new row. And that's the basics of entering a table. So we can then give this table a name. And hit shift enter. And what you see is the data is not stored as this prettily formatted table but is actually stored inside a bunch of nested curly brackets where each inside pair of numbers represents a row and the big uh, outer set of curly brackets uh, denote the extent of the entire table or list. So we can plot that list using the function listplot. And hit shift enter. And there is a plot there, but the points by default are hard to see. So just to make them more visible, during this uh, screencast, I will use the joined option. And there you have it. That's all there is to entering data into Mathematica in a table and making a plot. 